Now, of course, I've saved money because that's just what a responsible adult should do. You should always be saving money regardless. But if you have the chance to make more money, and it's just a matter of putting in the few more hours of work, then you should do that. If you're not doing that and you complain that you don't have enough money, do you really have room to complain? Hey there, my name is Henry Sierra, and thank you for clicking on this video. On this channel, you can find my journey through filmmaking as I pursue my passion through these videos, as well as anything that has to do with me in creative, and talk about things like the approach, the perspective, the mindset, and things that you could do to make yourself better over time. I am, as well, starting a uh, media business. It is a filmmaking and photography business, um, so this is also going to be my journey in building that. So along with being a 21 year old that has not made a lot of money in his life lately and who was also in school uh, gaining debt and who also has a part time job and who also invested money into getting a camera for YouTube. My situation is like I need to start investing and spending my money more wisely in order to get myself into this business world. And that means that I am learning a lot about business in general, the market, uh, investing, flipping, things like that. This video in specific is about flipping, and I think it's pretty exciting, honestly. This was my first time doing anything like this. One month ago, I turned one dollar into a thousand. And the challenge was great, but because I had never really done anything like this before, because this was completely new territory for me, it was incredibly difficult. So this week, I thought I would revisit the idea. Just one with experience, and two with the absolute goal to take one thousand dollars to ten thousand. I just bought hundreds of Olympic pins, and I mean hundreds, for 20 bucks. You want a dollar piece? The first sheet had 40 of them. I paid 20 for it all. Now that school has stopped for me and I have a lot more time on my hands to create and uh, invest my work and hands into building what I want to build, um, I have a lot more time to do things like flip. So that's what I did. I went to Walmart actually and I was going to go to a dollar store but I didn't, I, I thought about it and I was like I might have a better chance at getting something of more value at Walmart. Considering that they are pretty good with trends and things that are of mainstream for the most part. So I went there, I was going in uh, intending to spend around $20. I was actually going to buy candles at first. But then I looked at the marketplace on candles on eBay and it wasn't that good. So then I just said screw it, I'm going to look for whatever I can find that I think will flip well. I was able to get this short clip of the kind of moment of which I was like oh my gosh I just kind of struck gold because I found what I wanted. Um, so here's that. Oh, I am in Walmart. I am with Mark. Uh, he's right about to go to work, and I was like, you know, he lives or he works near this store, so I was like, come shopping with me. I am picking out a few items that I think I would be able to flip on eBay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that looks like a rave on the cup. What I'm trying to say here is, these mugs. Like the Avengers or like um, Deadpool. These are selling for about five bucks here. And yeah. The video clip isn't that long and I apologize for that. I was going to make a longer film um, that was more of the journey of doing this instead of just kind of the recap of documenting it. it turns out that Walmart employees kind of keep an eye on the things like this. I, I work for Walmart so I kind of know what it looks like when they're looking at you like as if you're doing something that is against their policy or whatever it'd be. Basically, uh, one of the employees was putting something back on the shelves and noticed that I was on my phone scanning the barcode of one of these mugs trying to look for a different price online. Now, obviously she didn't exactly know what I was doing, but she saw me pointing my camera phone at the barcode on this and that doesn't look well at any store. So basically after that, she left and then a, like pretty much like five employees just started walking around us, uh, taking a glance at what I was doing. Then I felt uncomfortable, then I just bought this stuff and left and now I have listed it and this is how that goes. So yeah, that's what I bought, and uh, some would say like, why are you spending this money on these things, like what the hell are you doing? But really this is kind of the bigger picture on it. Um, for people that um, will need money or want more money, 
This is a very, very simple way to go and earn and do that just by flipping because now we have social media and online things and the marketplace has gone to the internet and not just in person. Uh, and with that being said, eBay and other sites like that have market value that is usually higher for the most part. Um, most of the time when you make the right decisions and that's what happened this time for me so that's why I'm excited with this. What I did was when I first saw this, I, I first saw these socks and when I saw these I was like, you know what, we're in December, the month is still kind of uh, new to us and we are still just kind of experiencing the transition into this winter season and with that those will still go for a good flip for me. I can make maybe triple the amount that I paid for those but at the same time I need to sell those quickly before this month comes to an end because after that the, the market value on those Christmas seasonal socks might go really really low. But then we have these mugs man and these mugs are actually this one's my favorite and the reason why is because I know that those, those mugs those mugs will not go lower on price anytime soon unless the market on Avengers and superheroes in general goes down. And that's not happening anytime soon. This has been around for multiple of decades. Okay, and now just to show and kind of prove this to you guys, here's the receipt. I bought seven things, and you can see that each of those are no more than about $8. And that's how the profit comes into this, because those four mugs that I bought, they go from 7 to $8. Um, and here is what the market value on eBay is for those. And same thing with these socks at the bottom here, those three things. Those are about $3, no more than $3, and the market value is around $10 for those ones. So that is what this is. This is all investment. This isn't for my own pleasure. I'm not going out and buying these things for my own pleasure. I'm going to strictly make money off of these things. When you're building a business or even just for the normal person out in your everyday life, you, like you could always use more money, why not? Now of course I've saved money because that's just what a responsible adult should do. You should always be saving money regardless. But if you have the chance to make more money, and it's just a matter of putting in the few more hours of work, then you should do that. If you're not doing that and you complain that you don't have enough money, do you really have room to complain? All right, and that is the end of this film. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm gonna be doing a lot more. I might make a vlog out of this. I might make a series of flipping things in order to invest into more things that will fuel your business. If you guys did enjoy this film, please be sure to subscribe and join the journey. And with that being said, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I'll see you guys in my next post. Bye.